What's up, Thumbkeepers? Today I wanted to talk about uh, a new series I'm going to introduce on the channel. Hopefully it's going to be a regular series, and I'm going to call it uh, Me Time React. So basically what this series is going to be about is I'm going to go through uh, news during the week, uh, new reveals like this, what you're seeing right behind us is going to be this week's topic. And I'm just going to go give my opinion on it and talk about it and see how... Uh, just talk about it, see where we, where we end up at the end of the conversation. So of course, if you have anything to add to the subject, leave it in the comment below. Go talk to me on Twitter uh, from the post on from the tweet that's gonna go out when the video comes out and stuff like that. So right now, what we're watching is uh, Atomic Heart from Mun Munfish, if I remember correctly. Now this game, uh, I don't know if a lot of people know about this game. I, I see a lot of mainstream media starting to talk about it. Basically, this game is a uh, FPS, uh, basically Russian futuristic Russian style game. And believe me, this game looks very interesting. People that say first uh, single player games are dead, this is definitely a good example why they are not dead. So this game is, is not available yet. It's only good, I think it's going in, it's coming out in beta this year. I think you can get them, get it on their website. So as you can see, this game is very based on, um, well, futuristic stuff. It's what I like personally about the style is it has a lot of Russian influence. This game, I think it's made in that region of the world. There's just there's just so much things going on with this game. Like you see this beautiful landscape here. Uh, it just it just seems so cool. This it's going to be one of those worlds where I can't wait to explore. Anyway, the the game seems to be based like a, on this what seems to be like a science project gone wrong, which fits well with the Russian experiments, I guess, <laughs> with the few, I don't, I don't know what, I don't remember what year exactly it takes on, you'll probably find it in the description of uh, the videos of this company, but uh, yeah, one thing I really enjoy is it, it, it's, it takes single player and brings it to another level because it, it seems to incorporate a lot of melee RPG stuff, and of course now we're going to see, now it seems like normal uh, futuristic, not futuristic terrain, but See, these are some of the robots, uh, the main, I see, what seems to be like the main robots at the beginning there. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> he falls into this hole and then, uh, then we, we find this like fancy looking underworld. One reason why I wanted to, uh, to uh, watch this trailer with you guys and talk about it, it's because, like I was saying a bit at the beginning, a lot of people saying that single player is dead. We do see that a lot lately because there's a lot of really awesome multiplayer games, which some that's if you've been on this channel before, you see it's not something I really play a lot of multiplayer games, uh, except for Fall, Fallout 76, which is sort of an exception to rule because it's a re uh, new uh, multiplayer games, which I enjoy playing alone, which uh, which is very doable, but we won't get on that. So that would be a topic for another day. But this game, uh, it it's with like the with anthem destiny and there's so many other games coming out that pushes multiplayer game it's it feels a lot like a lot of developers are straying away from uh single player games but i do feel there's still a huge market for single player games uh, i myself included i do feel there's um if you're if i think uh, what really helps a very a very good single player game would probably be the story, of course, most of the time for uh, immersive gameplay. Like this game right here, it's probably one of the best examples. Why I, and the game's not out, like so I'm, I'm going on what I'm seeing from trailers. But this game looks very interesting. It seems actually quite hard enough. Uh, it seems quite hard enough. This is actually on a higher difficulty level, but this game does seem like it's taking the uh, melee. It, it seems like it's bringing melee to a whole nother level, and it, it's just something that's i think melee is a lot better in single player games i don't know that doesn't really, really really relate with what i'm talking about here but um yeah single player games are one of those things where i feel it's easier to get involved with. I, I get i get the, i get the understand i understand why it's fun to play multiplayer with friends and stuff like that but i do feel there's still this awesome huge space that create developers need to focus on uh, single player experience i know a lot of indie devs you've seen on my channel i play a lot of indie this is pretty cool though seems like the ro robot's doing its own thing there, but it's sort of sliding leftwards. I don't know if you know, the, the player's moving, but sing indie developers seem to be doing this a lot, play focusing a lot on the single player aspect, which is pretty cool. You get a lot of cool little experience, as you've seen on my channel before, where I play a lot of these single player games. And I'm happy that uh, sort of uh, out of the blue developer like Munfish, sorry if I'm not saying that properly, but that they're creating something that looks like out of this world fantastic like probably the, the, the trailer is not doing it justice there 
there was this debate for a while a couple a uh, couple years back even even last year that like single player games were dead there was like all this big uh, mishmash of uh, different developers saying oh we're only focusing on multiplayer games i felt i felt sad when i started seeing those comments because it, it's such a cool experience to play a solo game that's done right that's done well especially like when you're see this part right here one 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 part i wanted to show you where like the game uh, where he's actually used it, it, I don't know why this feels like a sort of a, a platformer game not this part here but when you got the trolleys coming back and forth I feel like they, they did it properly here for the video of course but it does seem pretty cool that they're incorporating this I don't know where I'm going with this it, it's one of those things where I, I feel like single-player games get a bad rap recently because we're seeing so many multiplayer games and I feel so many developers are good like we're gonna see uh, Days Gone coming out soon I know a lot of people the reception for that is not as good as it should be I don't know I, it does seem weird because uh, I think maybe the devs a bit too vague of what the game will be uh, at the end of it but I do feel like probably that game, I'm definitely going to be playing this game and of course uh, recently I also have uh, th this weekend you had the release of Resident Evil 2 which is probably one of the best Resident Evil games ever released well some would argue probably Resident Evil 4 me because Resident Evil 2 uh, the original one is sort of a childhood favorite of mine because I remember one of those things where you had two CDs in the case and there was like this mythical thing about it that if you uh, if you uh, if you you play one disc you finish it then you load the other one you complete the other story and you have to flip flop between it multiple times and I don't remember if that was true because we didn't play enough to actually do like multiple sequences of it but it does it does show like I wish there was more of that in single player game probably would help a lot and I know I know I've seen a lot of Resident Evil uh, 2 remake stuff that it, it does like change the story up a lot when you're playing between Claire and Leon. One part of single player games that I've seen, uh, I, I, I think that some developers are sort of fudging single player games lately is they try to incorporate too much of multiplayer games. So you see like get the single multiplayer. I think a uh, like, good example is uh, Far Cry 5, which I'm not, I'm not, I'm not dissing the game. Their co-op was not too bad. I didn't try it like for hours, but uh, from what I heard, the co-op wasn't like the greatest in it. So, it, but I did, I do feel like when developers are trying to focus on their attention on two different things, I want even if if Ubisoft is like a, a thousand people fucking army trying to create to, to create the game, I do feel like it impacts the game anyway because you're trying to balance all the mechanics together. And sometimes it just doesn't work, especially when you're you're immersed into a game and then it, it prompts you to oh you can play this co-op or. Uh, things like that which it, it, I do feel like it brings the game back a bit uh, I do feel like like I know what all the crap it's been getting but Fallout 76 does single player pretty well and there is like these random props that ask you to play to play like multiplayer events and stuff like that but it still does I, th I do feel like they still have it somewhat balanced matchmaking and stuff like that that might be something for an for, that might be something for another time but but I still feel like Fallout 76 did somewhat balance it probably uh, well they, they are coming out with a survival mode sort of which is the same game but you lose more uh, i think uh, there's no pvp sort of a pacif pacifist uh, in it or anything like the the what they're calling the adventure mode now uh which is fun because fallout 76 even with multiplayer in it even if you didn't want to play multiplayer in it when you met other players i played more than more than 50 hours of uh, fallout 76 and I feel like the that I've never every time I've met somebody else in the game, I've we've I've never shot a bullet at somebody else. I never tried killing anybody else. They've never tried it back. I felt like there 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 is this balance in this game. That's why I sort of point to it where single player can be done with other players, sort of a mixture of multiplayer single player at once uh, to be well balanced. Anyway, I'm sort of scatterbrained a bit. It just I wanted to show you guys if you guys didn't have a chance, if you guys didn't know what this game was, uh, Atomic Hearts. Uh, I think you can go to their website and pre-order the game to get access to the early beta. I think no, they won't be doing like open betas or stuff. I'm pretty sure they won't. They're, you can get the beta if you pre-order the game. There's like three different packages you can buy for the game. But I just want to do this story, show you guys this game and, and just keep going like with single player is still alive and well with games like this with uh, Days Gone and what other games coming out later. You have um, like you have, uh, I, I have to look up a list here. You have Metro Exodus coming out this year. You have Anthem, Anthem like 
it's one of those like destiny thing where you can play single player but they recommend you to play multiplayer sort of like fallout 76 but i do feel i i'm thinking that 76 is gonna be doing a bit better i know i'll get some shit for, for that probably in the comments but there's also a uh, sekiro shadow of uh what, what was it again sorry i'm trying to read the sekiro shadow dies twice which is i think it's sort of a japanese samurai looking bloodborne type uh, adventure uh, devil may cry five days gone rage 2 that's another cool game uh oh and also uh far cry new dawn which is uh, hopefully i'll be able to play that sort of the continuation of um uh the a continuation of far cry 5. so yeah this this was a bit of a scatterbrain for the first episode of me time reacts there'll be different kind of topics it won't always be trailer reaction it's going to be uh it's going to be sometimes uh, topics that I want to cover, uh, like the couple next topics I have on the list. Then one of the next topic I want to talk about, it's like COD best-selling title for the last 10 year and sort of explain why a phenomenon like that happens. Even a lot of people shit on Call of Duty. Anyway, I won't get onto the topic. I'll keep that for the next video. And there's other uh, stuff like that. There won't always, like I said, not always be gameplay reaction. And it's going to be news reaction and explaining, go into more depth if I can. Be, uh, be a bit more, I'll try to be a bit more like informative going through it uh i know this is a bit uh, been very scatterbrained for a scat or is a bit all over the place trying explaining what i was trying to talk about but you guys get the understanding i do feel like single player games are still here they're here to stay and of course if you want in the combo bowl, tell me some of the awesome single players games you played in the past and some you're looking coming out in the future i don't know there's still uh you're still maybe uh what's that um death stranding maybe i'm pretty sure that's gonna be single player uh there's pretty a lot of other awesome game and of course tell me other games single player game that were maybe ruined by the addition of multiplayer games uh none come to mind to me but of course leave it in the comment below or go go uh tweet me uh, on the post for uh, this video when it comes out and yeah so thank you so much guys for listening to this video hit that like button subscribe to the channel we really appreciate it go follow me everywhere me time gamer twitter twitch facebook instagram and right here on youtube where i post multiple videos a week uh 3 p.m eastern time so thank you so much guys for watching and i will see you next video keep on keeping on